In this video, I'm going to show you a tractor turbo that I upgraded and what I had to do to fix it because it's really complicated. So if you ever run into an issue like this, I'll give you some great ideas on how to fix the turbo. Here's the finished product. I used a GT3071R compressor wheel, but I think it's off of like a fake turbo because it had a five millimeter super back wheel, which is really unusual. The turbine wheel, I use a Precision 6262 turbine, or it's also known as a Garrett T350 turbine. So that turbine measures 62.35 by 71 millimeter. It's the revised version of the 6262 turbine. Usually they're 68 millimeter on the inducer. I had to machine the turbine housing and I went ahead and machined that flat too because it was rusty. And then I deburred all the edges so that will prevent it from cracking by deburring those sharp edges. On the for the compressor side, this is a TO4B compressor housing. So to use that compressor wheel, because it was a five millimeter super back, I had to machine a five millimeter plate, which is a TO4E plate. So I machined a five millimeter precision plate for a 6262 to fit into the TO4B compressor housing. <laughs> That way I could use the five millimeter super back compressor wheel with this compressor housing. This one did have a tag on it, which kind of made it a little bit different to do the machine work because the holes for the tag went all the way through the plate. So I just JB welded the other side of it. I also machined that plate for an O-ring and the pins are actually still in there, but I just JB welded the other side of it, so, so it'll be sealed off. This is the original assembly that was in this turbo. This wheel I'm very unfamiliar with. It looks like it might actually have a five millimeter super back on it, but we, one of my employees broke the plate for it, trying to remove it. And I don't know that the plate was even any good anyway. The compressor wheel was bad, it rubbed. And then the turbine wheel was bad because this area right here is worn out to the point where the journal bearings would just have a lot of shaft play if you put original bearings back in there. And sometimes they get worn out on the rear seal area, but I don't think this one is. So I couldn't use either one of those. To fix this, I had to think of a way to fix it with something that is similar in size. What I came with up with was I just happened to have a compressor wheel that would go in this, which was that was similar in size, because I don't really carry anything less than the six less smaller than the 62 62 wheels but this turbine that was in there that one was almost identical in size to this turbine so i didn't really change that much the compressor side this one is like 50 millimeter and then the one i put in it is like 53 millimeter so it's not that much of a difference well that concludes this turbo build uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys think of that. I'm hoping that I don't have to do very many turbos like that because it's just really complicated. I had to think of how I was going to fix it because I don't have a great source for parts for this.